What's wrong? Good morning, Ant-Man Moto here, coming at you. <laughs> Ant-Man Moto here, coming at you from Two Wheels Only Motorcycle Resort. As you can see over there, there is the beautiful facility where we here in Georgia come on most weekends to bond and to share this passion of riding motorcycles. But today, this day is all about Moto Guzzi. Now what I'd like to show you here is the complete line of Moto Guzzi motorcycles. Now, when I say complete line, we do not have any Stelvios today, but Moto Guzzi America, along with my good friend, Dan Trotti, who runs the Aprilia Moto Guzzi program for Piaggio, has brought this fleet, mostly consisting of V85s, this is my bike here, the bike I've been riding this weekend. I absolutely love this. It is a V85 Strata. It is a more a road going bike as opposed to this V85 Travel, which has spoked wheels and a skid plate on it and some hand guards. And it's more set out for doing dual sport duty where this does not have the skid plate and it has carbon wheels or forged wheels and it does not have hand guards and it's m more road going. But they both basically do the same thing. They're just in different trims. This is the bike I have been riding and I love the way it handles. I love the way it feels in turns. I love the way it feels when you're riding in a straight line. It's a very wonderful machine and it's my favorite. And this is the one Dan has been riding. And when I say has been riding, what's been going, what's going to be happening here today and what this video will be about is the Moto Guzzi demo day that we're doing here at Two Wheels Only, where we will be taking these uh, V85s that you see here and also these V100s. Here's the V100S and it is the Mandelo. <clears throat> And this is the more road going, road going Moto Guzzi. Uh, what I love about all these bikes is they have a shaft drive and the V100s actually have a single sided swing arm where the V85s do not. And we're gonna learn all this today as we proceed throughout the day riding these bikes and getting people's opinions about these bikes. If you're ever thinking about a Moto Guzzi, the days of them breaking down on the side of the road and you having to wrench them is over. Those days are behind us because these bikes are dependable and they're fun as hell to ride. You can't go wrong on a Moto Guzzi. So stay tuned for Moto Guzzi action from Ant-Man Moto. The boys are here. The job of beginning demos for the day has begun dan over there derek over there we're gonna do some ride man dan trotty the gentleman i spoke of right there if you see an aprilia or if you see a moto guzzi you will more than likely see that gentleman right there he is the man and it's given me much of his trust to help him with demos today so i take that very seriously and i'm not gonna let you down dan <laughs> you never do. That's why you're my guy. <laughs> All right, and we'll be back later. Get some customer feedback. Stay tuned. Mine. 
Doesn't that black one look good? I mean, doesn't that look like my bike? Oh, yeah. They make a V85 for, if you want to do mainly road duty and touring, you want the Strata. If you want to do dual sporting, B-roads, gravel, uh, just exploring off the beaten path, you want to get a, a TT or a travel. our helmet on geared up we're about to head out on a demo of these fine machines we have a small group here Dan is giving the regular safety briefing to everyone all riders are with their bikes and uh, we're about to head out All right, and I'm gonna go to my steed, which I've had all day, which is this beautiful, enjoyable, wonderful Moto Guzzi V85 Strada, which has become my new favorite bike. I don't believe I'd ride anything else. If I had this machine, I mean, this is, you know, I just got an MT-09. It's really got me debating selling that damn thing and getting this <clears throat> come over here it's got a wonderful display key on yeah nice I think they said it's a five inch display but it's full color really nice key it on it kind of rocks to the side right to left when you key it on that's that inverted v-twin 90 degree V twin on the bike. The bike makes the bike makes 78 horsepower, uh, which is not a lot, I know. But the, it doesn't need to make more than that. Because this bike is all about just the wonderful levering that it does from side to side. Dan is checking with me as I am in my customary position of being in the rear. I, I, I don't really like leading much because if we get to a car, I want to pass the car and it's really like a major a major crime to go cross a, a double yellow line in here in Union County, which is where we are. So I will, should I adjust this up? I don't know if that makes it louder or not. I can't really tell. The windscreen just kind of moves the wind blast from like my chin to like my bottom lip, you know? I don't know what's a comfortable position. A lady that I was talking to this weekend said that she's got to travel one of these and she needs a much bigger windscreen than this because she'll just you'll just get beat up doing highway miles with this windshield. And I can see where that would be an issue because even in the highest position, I'm still getting some, some wind around my helmet and it'll probably create buffeting eventually. So, but, as you will see, this bike, oh no, this guy is using brakes in a turn. Why? Why, why is he braking? Oh, I'm going to have to hang back. Well, another method I do on these is I'll just hang way back. And that way I can ride my own ride, you know? But this thing just... 
it just goes through turns so confidently. And it, I mean, it's like it's like you're just you're riding a you're riding a big steamship that handles. You know, it's just it's got a your your hands are way out here. I've got one hand way over there and one hand way over there. And you have this position of like command, like you just the road is at your mercy. It's at your beck and call on this bike. Ooh, it's the X14. Followed by two Porsches. And uh, yeah, look at how this thing just turns. Oh. And it just feels so good going around the turn. It's got Dunlops on it. And I don't know which Dunlops these are, but they're not known for their stickiness, yet these, at a pretty brisk pace I was doing yesterday, work fantastic. So they're they're putting some really quality tires on these on these bikes. You know, I like to I like to give the group the entire group space. So that way I can just kind of enjoy. Woo, look at that. Oh. 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 I mean, and it's like the way the seat the way the seat feels and the way your feet feel on the pegs is just like you're just locked in on your turn you're just locked into the groove the bike is just it's there for you man so i'm a huge fan of the v85 i've ridden the stelvio which everybody's asking for the stelvio and we don't have any still or dan didn't bring any stelvios so there's none here to demo but what he does have is v100s and this v85 and um which i showed you earlier and the uh v85 is just my favorite man it's my favorite bike i absolutely love it just the way it does this the rest of the group without even trying I've caught them which must mean there's a car up there like I said you might see me with one of these I mean shaft drive so no chain maintenance you know I mean I'm sure you got shaft maintenance but what do you got to do grease the shaft every once in a while so shaft drive it's got those valves the kind of valves where you just loosen a lock nut and adjust the tap it to, to you know to, to fix the gap for your valves there's no shims or anything like that and uh, so the maintenance on this thing is super easy I mean I don't know what the intervals are but it doesn't matter because if if it's time to check the valves you could just go check them you know I got the MT-09 thinking I would get that bike to keep from putting miles on the 200 and I've already put like 3,000 miles on the damn MT-09 and you know fortunately the 200 I didn't put those miles on the 200 or it would be at damn near 30,000 miles right now so yeah, there goes the fun guys What's wrong? Oh. Thank God it's not one of ours. Oh, Jesus. Oh, jeez. Oh, man. Woo! All right. What are you doing? What's wrong? I ran over something back there in that crash, so I'll just check in my tire. Oh, okay. Yeah, I'll be down there in a minute. I'll just want to make sure it ain't going to go flat on me. Yeah, well, I mean, you can, uh, okay, I'm going to stay with you. I'm not going to just like... Yeah, I went 
something. I, I don't know how I missed it. It was in that curve. That guy crashed. I hit something and it went like that. Yeah. I think I'll be okay. Yeah, I think you're okay. It's okay. Yeah. Okay, yeah, let's just limp it on back in. I guess that's the smart thing to do though. Pull over. If you if you think you ran over something weird, pull over, check, and then you make sure that it's clear. And then you proceed on about your way. Now, this guy, if I was following him the whole way, it would have been a little more fun. Because he is obviously a faster rider. buddy Ricky over cop was parked right here and and yesterday he was parked right here right under these trees here I think they wait till later in the day when the shade is like covering the spot up parks right there and just shoots radar up the hill and uh, man he collects bikes left and right he had a vintage moto Guzzi pulled over yesterday yep sure did And there you have it, a demo ride aboard this beautiful Moto Guzzi V85 Strata. A work of art as far as twisty roads, great handling, nice character. The seat does kind of jack my butt up a little bit, but for the same reason the MT-09 seat does, when it rises up here in the back like this, it just puts pressure on my tailbone, and I think that's a me thing. Um... You can see it has the, just pop that off, adjust your valves, there's your shaft, um, it's got the little sight glass on the side there and your oil filler thing, Brembo brakes, front and rear? I don't know if those are Brembos in the rear, I'm not sure, but it definitely has Brembos up front. Dual calipers as is the norm for most bikes uh, the windscreen adjusts up and down like this and uh, yeah how was it was it good was it a good ride right he was a leader yeah man you know the road don't you i've never been here before up here man you do pretty good in these cars doing it yeah. in socal you know like yeah. all the angeles crest highway you yeah. know 33 you know all the all the twisty canyons back there we have we have the transverse mountains yeah so not as green as this but yeah. similar flow to it yeah. maybe a little bit more wide open but i like technical you, yep. ant man moto yep one word ant man moto on the way down thanks yeah that's me thanks buddy yeah, brother. Thank you. I'm glad you enjoyed the ride today. It's the first Moto Guzzi I've ever been on. Yeah? You gonna you, you think you'll live with one in the future? Because that, I'm going to buy that bike. <laughs> I love it. I mean, you know, it's, it's, it doesn't have the skid plate like the, um, like the travels do. But it's just so much fun up here in these roads. It's all you need. Uh, it, well, it says a V85, but it only makes like 78 horsepower. I think it's like 800 cc's or something. Basically the same bike as that one. Is. Yeah, that's just got the that's just got the Farkles on it. Oh, and the travel the travel has a little thing that comes out here, which keeps wind from going up your helmet. The lady said it goes up your helmet real bad on the old ones. Yeah, I used to ride a road king with big wheels. Yeah, hopefully that guy clears out. Yeah. 
the uh, dealers.